This is one of Decom Bomb supporters, Rich404, here to say to enjoy this video, and make sure to visit and to subscribe to his channel for more. Get ready folks for another awesome review from Decom Prime. Let's do this. Alright guys, uh, next we'll be doing the triggers, and of course the premi handle, uh, but it'll last probably. Uh, let's do this first. And uh, I'm just going to do a little raw iron, just a little bit to test about it pretty much. I still like the effects that I uh, indirectly did pretty much, uh, I think tell. This way I did uh, keep clean, I'm not sure this will interfere with the uh, the gears, so I get to clean with any paint. Uh, I'm not sure that will I know if the paint wouldn't feel with the teeth or not, it probably would have, but if I keep clear with uh, some tape. So I'll use this right here, red iron. <clears throat> I said I just use a little bit. Not a lot. So I don't want like a heavy dose of this on this thing. So I do want to keep a lot of this visible as well. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna use a little brush, kind of beat up one I have. That's all. And uh <clears throat> Yeah, probably like this, probably. Pretty much. Like I said, it's going to be a lot. It's probably very hard to see because it's the black and the uh, copper. See me there as well, too. <clears throat> but, I don't know. Let's see anyways. <clears throat> Let me see a little bit. I'm not sure if you can the uh, camera, but uh, let me see a little bit. So I'm just gonna do a little here and there. Uh, been too much too extreme. <clears throat> okay, this one. It's pretty good. You can see a little bit of course, but not a lot, but that's a good thing. Like I said, I don't want too much. <clears throat> this tab would do. Yeah. I don't know if it's on camera or not, but uh, I'm going to smudge out a little bit. Good enough. <clears throat> uh, next I'm going to be doing is the Premi handle. That one is pretty decent. I uh, got a little orange right here as well too, so I might use a little more of iron just uh, paint over it a little bit. Paint the sides, sides, <clears throat> sides. So this one, uh, probably too much. Probably does smudging mostly, has a lot of iron. So, so far, it's looking great. Uh, I'm impressed. This could just have a lot of detail this, this gun has. I mean, it has like tons of detail. I mean, just tons of it. So I'm basically going to paint the raw iron inside there somewhere. This right here does go inside the guns. I would get that masked off. I'm not sure that would damage the interior or not. Okay, that's enough of that. That's all too. And I'm gonna take a little break from that and put my hands off first. Uh, we got paint. Next, we are doing is the handle. For that I'm gonna use a uh, kind of tan color. Try imitate. Best I best I can do is like leather type thing. 
see how that works out pretty nice. I might combine with some black as well. Or maybe have some black show through with this color what too. We'll see though. Uh, we'll see how dark this brown is first. Yeah, uh, it's okay. <clears throat> I might come out a little bit with the some black a little bit, just mix it up a little bit. Uh, too much. I'll show you guys what I'm doing here. I'm using this right now for now. I kind of ran out of paper plates to use up, so uh, I'm using this temporarily. <clears throat> yeah, based on just mix it around a little bit. Fix some of around a little bit. If I use a bigger brush for the mixing part. Yeah, I kind of want like a darker uh, tan color. Yeah, that's good. So that's good. So, and now I'll basically go over it. Uh, I'll probably use my other brush right here just for edging apart. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty dark, it's good. Down there. <clears throat> so It's kind of dark, it's a good thing about that. I try, try to imitate leather if possible. And when I'm done, of course, I'm gonna go over this a little bit, try brushing it black to kind of show the contours of it. For you guys. I was about white, I was about fur, because then Robbie did a gun. He used white for the bandage part, and uh, it pretty cool. Um, but uh, this was actually, uh, this was more than tan color, so I thought, well, maybe this would be leather, maybe. So I thought, use leather instead. So I thought, use a kind of brown color for leather. And yeah, pretty cool, yeah. Because as long as pot clips, you gotta use what you use. All right, all right. <clears throat> Okay, a little bit. Let's fix that. <clears throat> Make sure. <clears throat> Got to angle the camera, guys. Apologize. <clears throat> I might do off camera for the other handle because it's the same thing pretty much. Same thing. But yeah, one done here was fully dry. Um, go over with some black. Just dry brushing in the middle parts of the uh, handle. 
but it looks pretty good so far. Okay, so I think tan will look a nice little too. And it can work with a matte finish when it dries to be more uh, flat, of course. Anyway, I'm going to take a little break right now, guys. I'm going to dry first. I'm going to need our handle off camera. When I come back, I'll show you a little dry brushing for the uh, you know interior part of the wrapping is what too. So, all right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, next thing I'm going to do is the saw blade until the handle's fully dry. Well, done pretty much right now. I'm going to do the uh, saw blade. Now, you can tell I got attached to a drill. Yeah. That's because I kind of wanted the wear and tear of the blade to be natural, so I thought I attached it to a drill. And as it spins, I'm going to use dry brushing method and go over about this, and that way I'll make give it perfectly wear and tear feeling in within a circling pattern as well. And that way, it looks pretty cool that way. And I got, uh, see, black and some red for blood. And yes, we have blood in this thing too as well. And I'm going to use rice with wood too to Turn on for me, so I'm going to do a start the blade right now for you guys. And... I'm going to speed going here. And basically I'm going to dab the black a little bit. And... Start the middle part and work this way as well. Guys... It won't be perfectly, you know, but that's okay. Basically, I'm just dry brushing in a way, but in a circle pattern, pretty much. Yeah, pretty good, I think it'll work out very nicely. Try a little more in here. So it grooves there a little bit. And I do want to show some wear and tear, like some heavy usage, pretty much. And then the blade itself in a part. And basically, I basically use a bolt and uh, a nut, that's all I did. And I just, I just drill. Easy enough. I really use a very thin, uh, thin bolt for it. And I'm getting dry brushing right now. Try to get some of that paint smear a little better. A little more probably. When I'm done, I'm gonna dry and go with the, the red paint for blood effect. That'd be kind of cool. Dry side corners here somewhere. I'm gonna use a lot of paint, I think, tell. I'm just kind of dry brushing in a way. Try to smear some paint. This is why I have more of a natural look to itself. That's all. Yeah, it's all blade. Always has a natural look to itself. So okay, so that works now. I wonder. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can tell it's pretty natural. Kind of torn up a little bit. That's not bad. All right, I'm gonna put a little more on the edging part. Not fast there, so that's okay. I want a little more than blades and so. There we go. I'm that way, I think. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'm going to put some on the tip of the blade. Uh, very tip of it. Unless I'm not using a lot, guys. You don't have to use a lot. It's kind of similar to miss you, basically. More black, though, it does show more wear and tear, obviously. There we go. Okay. Okay, looks pretty good. I like the effect that it has. Like that. Alright, I'm going to dry for 100% pretty much. And then we'll go with some red paint for blood. Uh, and then when I'm done with that, I'll finish up the handles with the uh, dry brushing and black too as well. 
Let me make sure it's fully dry before I do anything about that whatsoever. Alright guys, I'll be right back and I'll see you later. Alright guys, this is a fully dry and I have some blood to the blade. Alright guys, again I'm going to use a lot, I don't want to overkill it again with all the paint, but give it a shot, shall we? And probably mostly the really eating part problem. I'm going to use a lot of blood as well, I don't want to kill it too much. I use a little bit. Yeah, we can like zombies, so it makes a little sniffy mix in a while. I'm gonna do a little more force and edging. Alright, so. Got that here. Right now. Hmm, I'm not, that's pretty much on a pretty much all of That's off that side. See how it stops. Okay, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, that's not a lot. I don't want to like overkill it too much with the red paint. All right, guys. Uh, you know what? Let's check out the handle now. Good. And I'm going to dry for a while and I'm going to do the handle part now with some dry brushing of the black. Yeah, I'm going to do one side of the other side off camera for you guys. And uh, this water uh, here. And basically, I'm done. I'm going to go with the as possible. Go like that pretty much. Alright, see how that works out. I kinda wanna make it dirty as what too if possible. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't make dirty as well. Like it's very dirty leather. I mean, really disgusting leather. Let's see more cracks in here a little bit, shall we? Here. There. Let's see how that works out. Let's move that down. As well, that wakes all the crevices. Alright, that was pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Okay, not too bad. Maybe a little more, maybe. Just uh, make sure. I might pad down too. Mm. Now we get all the crevices as well. <clears throat> okay, yeah, that's pretty good. What do you guys think? Not too shabby. Uh, again, I don't want to do too much, but let's put a little bit more. Make sure you get all the cracks, of course. Make sure all the cracks. Okay. Put that down, try to get all the paint inside there. Okay. Not too shabby. Alright, I'm going to do a size with two off camera, but that's pretty how I did pretty much. Just some dry brushing, uh, pad down as well. That pretty much. That's pretty good decent. Alright, 
I'm gonna take a little break for you guys. I'm gonna do the exercise with you off camera. And you know what? Uh, next video will be the completion and reassembly of the crosscut zombie strike weapon. So stay tuned for the fourth and final part of the video. Again, uh, that's it guys. I'll see you part four. I'm out.